This video talks about peripherals that are used in embedded system. An embedded system communicates with the outside world through peripherals. I.O. devices are connected to processor, enabling interaction with the surrounding environment. I.O. devices used for read are input devices like switches, buttons and knobs etc. I.O. devices used for write are output devices like LED, LCD, etc. Embedded systems receive their inputs from external world in the form of analog signals whose amplitude varies continuously. Sensors or transducers convert physical entity into an electrical signals. The embedded systems takes electrical signal as input and convert signal to digital ones. As processors are designed to handle digital signals. The processor process these signals using program that resides in memory chip. RAMs are used to store volatile data. Most of the times embedded systems are controlling the other systems which depends on the output from the embedded systems. For such systems digital to analog converters are used. The surrounding temperature is sensed by the thermostat, a temperature sensor, and is converted to a potential analog voltage. The processor cannot manipulate this signal directly. It is converted to an equivalent digital number through a process called analog to digital conversion, ADC. The processor then compares this temperature reading with the high and low temperature settings defined by the user and turns the heater AC on or off if required. The user uses keypad to enter the temperature settings which are saved into the memory. The processor displays the temperature settings and the current temperature on the LCD screen. The software to perform the entire function of monitoring and controlling the temperature is stored in the memory. The processor reads instructions from the memory and executes them. Pulse width modulation PWM, is a digital technique for varying the amount of power delivered to an electronic component by adjusting the amount of power delivered to a motor or LED the speed or brightness respectively can be controlled. A pulse width modulation signal begins with a voltage that goes up and down repeatedly. PWM can be easily generated by using the inbuilt CCP module that is capture compare PWM of a microcontroller. The main types of peripheral that are used include digital inputs and outputs. These are simple external pins whose logic states can be controlled by the processor to either be logic 1 or logic 0. They can also be used as input pins so that the processor can receive binary inputs from the external world. They can be used individually or grouped together to create a parallel port. Serial interface. These are interfaces that send or receive data using one or two pins in a serial mode. They are less complex to connect but are more complicated to program because the data may also be argumented with additional information as required by the data transfer protocol. Analog to digital converters, while processors operate on the digital data, the surrounding world is analog in nature. Therefore, interfaces between the system and the external world requires converters like ADC, DAC. Displays. Displays are used by the processor to display the status information, error messages and output results. They could be simple LEDs, 
seven segment displays or character LCD panels. Keypads. Keypads are used by the end user to provide inputs to the embedded system. The inputs could be anything such as entering the password, changing functional settings, switching between menu items, etc.